When it comes to keeping students engaged, schools all across Queensland are doing great work. In this series, we'll be sharing some of their ideas and practices with you. Located in the North Coast region, Marumba State Secondary College is finding new ways to identify the warning signs and intervene early to keep students engaged. The college motto, Learning for Life, provides a focus for students, parents, teachers and the college community as the school seeks to create a positive and vibrant culture of learning. This is our eighth year of operation and uh, it's a rapidly growing school. We've uh, started with 324 students and this year we've got a total enrolment of uh, 1,565 students. And it's a challenge that every school faces. How do, we, uh, how do we effectively work in that space that sees you know, a teacher with 25, 28 students have the time to engage in that space effectively to learn enough about each student and, and to, to be constantly updating their knowledge. Here at the college we're, we're very much driven by the vision and the mission. So developing a sense of belonging um, and shaping preferred future pathways, that underpins everything we do here. We have a number of strategies for early intervention with our students, whether it's social, emotional and behavioural aspects of the learner or whether it's the academic side of things. Whether it be intervention to support social and emotional needs or academic needs or whether we just simply need to uh, inject a little bit of extra to get the very best performance out of our kids. Uh, we have teams in place to do the very best job that we can to address those needs. Marumba promotes a culture of know our learners and meet our learners' needs, where staff interrogate attendance, performance and wellbeing data to inform teaching practices and interventions. Teaching teams meet on a regular basis to discuss each student and their data individually, which ultimately enhances student outcomes. It's not me just sitting back in my office saying I think this is a great idea and this is what we're going to go with. It's a collaborative and a joint decision but it needs to stem from a, a need, a defined need. We would look at the data, look at what is it that we're trying to achieve, look at all options and consider collaboratively what's going to be the best way forward for us. In regards to my role and what we do here, we work very closely with the teachers that we can determine the best courses of action to make sure that these kids don't slip through the cracks. We find that if a student's happy to be at school and they feel they've got a chance of succeeding in school, then they will have more chance of coming to school and doing well at school. We can prevent so many other things, so many reactions or negative issues by being proactive. And because it's proactive, and we can head them off for the past essentially rather than being reactive. Those kids who are at risk due to motivation and discipline, it's imperative that we get that information soon because we don't want there to be further disengagement. We don't want there to be a cycle of destruction where um, kids continue to fall behind, continue to feel that they're not connected to the community. For us, um, it's, it's all about being responsive and, and when we get those referrals and we get that information, we're straight onto it. The Academic Improvement at Marumba or AIM program ensures every student is supported and nurtured, but importantly, challenged. Analysing the student and their behaviour, attendance and performance data individually enables teachers to streamline their efforts and shape an informed approach for each student to ensure they are engaged, supported and challenged. The Academic Improvement at Marumba initiative, that really encompasses um, all aspects of tracking student um, academic achievement and putting in place interventions early to make sure that students will get the best possible outcomes. Uh, our AIM program doesn't involve a heavy investment, it's more uh, you know, coming back to that space and, and being clever in the way we, we collaborate and share information. And what it actually looks like is a once a term meeting, student data is interrogated, teachers collaborate and share strategies that's working well with particular students. In doing that and sharing that information collaboratively, uh, our, our teachers who may be experiencing some uh, more negative aspects of the learning journey are able to share from those who, are, who aren't seeing those sorts of behaviours or that lack of engagement. Particularly in the AIM classes with our reading coaches and our, our master teacher, they work very closely with the students in those groups so they build up a very, very close relationship with the students. That kind of hooks the students into their learning. So these students who are at risk of being disengaged and, and not having good outcomes through those positive relationships that they have with those teachers, it sets the foundation for learning to occur. Staff at Marumba are encouraged to share experiences and engagement strategies they find work well with their students and to establish and communicate learning goals, track student progress and celebrate success. We have an expectation that all 
teachers at Marumba embody the Learning for Life vision and that we become lifelong learners ourselves to not only improve our own practice but to model for students as well. Not for a minute do we sit back and think right we've got this nailed um, and, and, and think this is the end of the journey. We're very aware that there's things that we can do to continually improve. We're able to judge that one um, is in, in that which we are able to measure and that's the outcomes data that comes through so we're effectively effectively able to see uh, that progress and that that um, that growth in black and white and that's a, a very real measure and a really important measure but the other one's a little bit less tangible and that that is the vibe the feel of the place and you know you're on the right track when you get that feeling and that sense as you walk through the campus.